there comes a time when athletes have no choice but to hang up the cleats. The most important thing for you to have is your mind, and your mind is something that nobody can take away from you. This Houstonian behind a new nonprofit is here to set up young student athletes for life once the game is over. The Bees Believers really kind of was a an idea that really got bred um, actually when I was a straight Jesuit. Here, everybody made sure at this school that what I did on the football field wasn't the kind of total summation of who I was. They always made sure that you had to have it in the classroom as well. So that's exactly what he did. He had two dreams, play in the NFL and pursue a degree in civil engineering. When I was, you know, coming out of school and during the recruitment process, a lot of people told me like, oh, well, you're going to have to choose one or the other. You're going to have to either be a great engineering student student or be a great athlete. I was like, well, why can't I do both? Fast forward, Emmanuel's now a linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons. I think anybody's dreams for what they want in life is going to ever be easy. You always have to, you know, go through the trials and tribulations, the hills and the valleys to be able to make sure that it comes true. So you have to kind of be stubborn with the way that you approach your dream. And he hopes that his experiences encourages all athletes, especially black and Latinos, to consider STEAM as an option. There is a lesser number of African Americans within the STEAM career field, um, along with Hispanic Americans as well too. So for us, it was all about promoting for inner city schools, just giving them the opportunity for them to be able to have that exposure that they typically wouldn't get. And so that's one of the big things about Bees Believers is just increasing that diversity because we believe that when we get so many people of different creeds and backgrounds and socioeconomic um, status, that you be able to provide for a better world because everybody understands the plights that each other is going through. Carolina Olivares, ABC 13 Eyewitness Sports.